if there was evidence in the first century that you were the Messiah, why did very few people believe that you were then? Well, very few people in the first century believed I was the Messiah because there wasn't a huge amount of evidence that I was the Messiah. When I say a huge amount of evidence, what I mean by that is that I wasn't doing miraculous things on an hour-by-hour, moment-by-moment basis. And also, on top of that, many people in the first century had huge difficulties with recognising love and truth. And as a result of those two particular things, they could not tell whether a person was one with God or not. They heard rumours, of course, that I healed particular people under certain circumstances and conditions. But of course, there were other people who I did not heal and could not heal as a result of the laws not being engaged to be able to heal those particular people. And so people thought it was a bit of a hit and miss affair. Um, And for that reason, many people did not know whether they could accept what I was saying as truth or not. In fact, many of my own disciples in the first century, many of the people I was teaching in the first century, in, in seminars similar to what I'm teaching today, Many of those people did not really accept that I was the Messiah until after I died and I reappeared to them in spirit form and in a materialised body. And it was only then that they started to recognise that I was the Messiah that had been foretold and that's what caused them to have a large amount of faith in my teachings as a result. But until that point in time, many of them had huge amounts of doubts. This is why very few of them were present at my death. My own father doubted my, uh, my Messiahship until after my death. My mother followed me around in the first century accusing me of being crazy until the last year of my public ministry. And so many of the people even who knew me face to face did not know whether I was crazy or not in the first century. And many of those people did not accept I was the Messiah until after I had passed. So there was not as much evidence as what Christians today seem to believe there was in order to accept myself as the Messiah. Aside from the fact that I had a huge amount of love for individuals and people collectively and also could tell them a huge amount of truth that they'd never heard before. And this is exactly the same as today. Um, and, and yet many people today still doubt whether I'm Jesus or, or the Messiah that comes from the first century. And for, the, for exactly the same reasons, because I don't have the, same, the showy things that they, they feel they need before they could accept whether I'm Jesus or not.